during this period, there were two prophets. There were two presidents of the church. In accord with this calling and commandment, the prophet Joseph Smith conferred upon Hiram Smith all the keys, authority, and gifts of the priesthood which he, the prophet, held, and which were formerly held by Oliver Cowdery. The Lord also revealed to Hiram Smith all that was necessary to make him completely and to the full degree a witness with his brother Joseph as a prophet, seer, revelator, and president of the church, and to stand through all time and all eternity at the head of this dispensation with his brother Joseph. A Witness for Jesus Christ President Joseph Fielding Smith Consider the significance of two joint dispensation heads. I believe this is the only time in recorded history where we have two presidents, two leaders of the church, or in this context, two prophets. Initially, it was Oliver Cowdery. He, with Joseph Smith, translated the Book of Mormon. Oliver received the Aaronic Priesthood jointly with Joseph Smith. He received the Melchizedek Priesthood again, jointly with Joseph Smith. It was Oliver Cowdery who was appointed to be the second elder of the church. It was Oliver Cowdery who, with the prophet Joseph Smith, was privileged to receive the prophetic appearance when the Lord suddenly came to his temple in Kirtland on April 3rd, 1836. It was Oliver Cowdery who, with the prophet Joseph Smith, jointly received keys from Moses, from Elias and Elijah again in the Kirtland temple. And yet, despite all of these and many other incredible and overwhelming appearances, manifestations, and the bestowal of keys upon Oliver Cowdery, he stumbled. All of those blessings were taken from him and they were given to the patriarch Hiram Smith. <laughs>